Hello, I'm Aki X Toy Cat, and a brand new Minecraft update just came out, 1.19.40, and has some really interesting implications for the future of Minecraft updates on both Java and Bedrock, and how they've kind of accidentally become unlinked again, it seems. This is really interesting, as well as the features inside this update, which I'll be going into today, because wow, there's a brand new update. Look at how the number in the corner there is slightly different. This is uh, something that looks a lot like 1.19.30, because it is a minor version update, that is to say, the features are less big than if it was 1.20. However, this is a really interesting look into the future of updates, and I think it's really great for that reason, so let's go into it today. By the way, this is going to be a big one-take video, so maybe you hate that, but it's going to be a fun opportunity to do a shorter news video, because by the way, guess what? Here is the changelog for the update. You might try and read it from inside the game itself, but it's a little hard to do that, so instead, obviously there's the changelog, like it's always existed, on feedback.minecraft.net. They've also started to go a bit more on showing the changelog on minecraft.net itself, so if you want to learn about the 1.19.40 update, which is available now on Bedrock, a Minecraft Bedrock Edition update. I mean, isn't that kind of clarified when you say 1.19.40 update on Bedrock? That is a, whatever, there's, there's a brand new update out right now, and uh, here is the basic gist of it. It is very heavy on parity and fixes. A big thing that Bedrock needs to do, which Java clearly feels it doesn't need to do as much, is adding parity fixes to the game. There are lots of ways in which Java and Bedrock are different, and one of the ways they've just fixed that is when on Java, you could be killed by someone using a renamed weapon. Let's say you renamed your weapon something ridiculous and hilarious, like the, the rusty trombone, and now when Dave kills Andrew, it says Dave was killed by Andrew with the rusty trombone. I, I got the order around on that. Or you could name it something silly like communism, and it's like Andrew just killed Dave with communism, and it's like ha 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 ha. Wow, that's a fun name for an item. You can now do that and make some silly death messages if you really want to. I'm sure you can come up with a great variety of them, which is why renaming your we weapon is extra important, or the opposite of important, depending on whether you think silly, is good. We've also got getting killed by a mob with a renamed weapon, now produces a death message with the same item name, which means if you give your sword, which is called capitalism, to a zombie, and then the zombie kills you, it'll say, zombie killed IBX toy cat using capitalism, which I mean, I'm just saying stealing from you, maybe that's, uh, you know, there's there's gotta be something great in there for you, just like how the roof forest, the savannah mutated in birch forest biomes, use the correct grass colors, so they've slightly changed the game itself for that, which is really interesting to say the least. We've also got changed bubble columns strengths, we've got a decreased hunger amount while swimming, a lot of tiny changes to make the game more like Java. I think the other ones you might care about are, um, We've got things like, uh, as you can see, uh, the Librarian Villagers will now offer enchanted books of Curse of Vanishing and Curse of Binding. This is something you would probably never want, naturally. Um, you know, like, uh, having the Curse of Vanishing and Curse of Binding can only really be used to troll other people. You'd never want it to put on your own stuff. But now if you want to get curses in legit survival and put them on weird armor, like have a leather helmet with the Curse of Binding, you can now totally do that. And I think that is a lot of fun as an option. And uh, so yeah, there's a lot of things like that. There's also a lot of Fixes. So fixed crashes, fixed crashes, fixed bugs, fixed bugs. There's a lot of that through here. You'll also find uh, some weird ones that you might find very useful. So NPCs can now have no name hiding the name tag above their head. Ooh, spooky. We can have uh, baby villagers will again accept flowers from iron golems. There's, there's fun sorts of fixes in here. Some of these I didn't even assume were fixes. Like, uh, way down here, you can see that, like, okay, so, um, like, as I was reading for this update, I was like, I was surprised... Uh, relatively speaking, uh, by some of these things. So, for instance, uh, there's one here regarding boats. So, boats would disappear when pushed through an ev portal, and also, when a mob is a passenger in a boat, neither the boat nor the mob would be allowed to change dimension. I didn't know that was a bug. I assumed Minecraft was just broken. So, yeah, this update fixes all of that stuff. It's very good. It's very positive, all things considered. However, here's the interesting thing about it. You might be hearing about 1.19.40, and you might know that it's called 1.19.40, as opposed to 1.19.4, because it is the bedrock equivalent. 1.19 was called 1.19.0, 1.19.1 was called 1.19.10. However, here's the weird thing, there is no 1.19.4 update out for Java, and in fact, if you look at the release change logs, you'll see how ever since 1.19.2 released, Bedrock has been releasing updates, and Java has not been matching it. L Java's last update was, what, what date was this? Like, oh, it literally doesn't say, but it was, it was actually over a month ago, and so there's this weird thing where uh, Bedrock updates have been releasing without their relevant Java updates. 
updates. Here you can see 1.19.2 uh, you know, releases for Bedrock, oh, 1.19.10 for Bedrock, 1.9, oh, actually 1.19.20 Bedrock, 1.19.2 for Java. And that is really, really weird because they specifically mentioned 1.19.3 potentially releasing. Because uh, obviously 1.19.30 for Bedrock would be the right opportunity to bring out a 1.19.3, but they didn't seem to take it. If you are curious what we're talking about, uh, by the way, it's even stranger when you look at the fact that Minecraft Bedrock is a is actually betering 1.19.50 right now. So they're on 1.19.5, while Java is on 1.19.2. This tells us one of two things. Either they just don't have any bug fixes they feel like going through on Java, or they're working on something big there, or it tells us uh, that the, uh, you know, like there is just a need to unlink the two platforms right here, um, because, you know, what's the point in holding up a Bedrock update if there's no Java equivalent? And this uh, is going to be extra interesting now that we know that point updates, minor version updates like 1.19.2, as opposed to major version updates like 1.19 and 1.19.0. Um, it's really interesting because if you look at the future of Minecraft as they clarified in the help center, uh, they have said that going forward from 1.19.3, specifically naming that version, Minecraft Java Edition will start to release multiple minor versions per year, including content improvements they think are ready to ship. This is going to be extra interesting because what if there are features available in 1.19.3 for Java that aren't in the Bedrock equivalent? We don't know what the plan is regarding these things. We kind of, we always hear about the vague ideas and then the vague ideas and the way they're, they're implemented can be very different. But uh, yeah, I'm so fascinated about how this is going to go on. My, major minor versions. What's the deal? What's happening with all of this? We don't actually know for sure. We just know that Bedrock seems to be going ahead, releasing a bug fix every month or two, as is needed, while Java is intending to add more content and improvements if they're ready to ship in these minor uh, Java updates, which is uh, a very interesting change to say the least. And how will this affect me? The answer is the change will not have an impact on how you play the game. It just lets you enjoy more frequent content releases, which is what I hope we see for both platforms. Hopefully, you know, something like the frogs, rather than waiting, you know, the frogs were done in January this year, rather than waiting until the entire update, if they weren't a relevant part of it, I guess you could argue frogs are a part of the wild update, because frogs get wild, man. Uh, but in every other case, you would argue that actually um, these new uh, smaller features, like, I don't know, the, the foxes didn't really fit 1.14, in my opinion. The phantom didn't really fit 1.13. Uh, when there are features like this, maybe including the sniffer, um, we could see them come out in these smaller version releases uh, as a way to bring more content to the game while we're waiting for these big updates like 1.20, releasing, by the way, 2023. And if I'm not mistaken, 2023 is a big year. There's a lot of lot of days in the year 2023, and so it's going to be very interesting to see how that goes down. It's also interesting to see, by the way, like, ooh, wow, we uh, tomorrow is uh, going to be snapshot beta day. There's going to be some new things coming for 1.20, maybe we could expect. But uh, for now, all we know is there's a brand new update. It just came out. It has a lot of cool vanilla to parity things. You probably will notice uh, most slight different color changes to biomes, being able to now trade for curses if you want to, increase ravager speed to make it a little bit scarier, um, as well as uh, a lot of, uh, in increase the uh, hitbox size, and then even more interestingly, if you look at the way um, scaffolding works, uh, scaffolds will now burn at the correct rate of one quarter of an item. They used to be very OP, now they kind of suck. You should always burn bamboo and not scaffold, which by the way, I guess you should have a bamboo farm Get ready for 1.20, maybe. Uh, this was my one take video. How did you feel about it? I hope you enjoyed it because it's over now. Um, yeah, 1.19.40. It's out now. And for future updates, we'll have more gameplay and stuff. But Harrison's... Yeah, Harrison's actually away from his computer because he's visiting. Uh, I mean, there's a, there's a fun story about that. But yeah, for now, uh, come watch my live stream. It's happening in a little bit. We hit, if you're curious, we, if, if, you, if you really are curious here, we hit 750 members. So we had a very fun stream this Saturday, uh, that is definitely going to stay in the unlisted playlist stream. Uh, however, uh, we're now only 135 members away from playing jar, you know, small regular size salmon edition for a day, which I think it'd be a lot of fun. So come over to the stream if you feel like being a member. You can do that, and it'll have a fun alert pop on stream. And if you just want to watch me play some super flat, super flat 41 is happening right now, probably as you're watching this video. So see you there. Goodbye. <laughs>